Welcome to episode 4 of our Explain the Basics series. This week's episode is titled Storage and Software. So if you want to know the difference between MVR and NAS, or what VMS stands for, then this is your episode. Let's start with MVR. MVR stands for Network Video Recorder. It is a physical device that receives video streams from your IP cameras over a network connection, either LAN or WAN, and records that footage digitally to a hard drive. Recording, playback and other settings on an MVR can be controlled either locally by connecting a monitor to your MVR and operating the MVR as an all-in-one computer, or remotely by connecting the MVR to a network PC. Also unlike a NAS, an MVR can usually operate as a PoE switch as well as a recorder, but be careful and check that the MVR you have chosen both has enough PoE ports to support the number of cameras you have and that the power budget of the built-in switch is large enough to power all of your cameras. Channels. MVRs come with a fixed number of channels. It may be 4, 8, 16 or right up to 128 and beyond. The number of channels an MVR has corresponds to the maximum number of IP devices that MVR can take at one time. It's important to know that the number of channels does not always correspond with the number of physical ports on the MVR, there can sometimes be more channels. To use these other channels, you will need to connect your cameras somewhere else on the same network as the MVR and power them using a separate PoE switch. NAS NAS stands for Network Attached Storage. They are quite similar to MVRs, but the main difference is that NASs can be used for file sharing as well as storing video footage from your IP cameras. This makes them perfect for small businesses, as not only can they store the camera footage that keeps your business premises safe, but because the NAS is on your office network and is reachable via the internet, it can also be used to store and share files between employees. VMS VMS stands for Video Management Software. It is a general term used to describe any piece of software that allows a user to control their IP system. There is a huge array of types of VMS from many different brands like Milestone, Hike Vision, or Luxriot, and they range from the basic free versions right up to the very expensive corporate scale software. The main job of VMS is to allow a user to view live and recorded footage as well as manage basic features and settings of your cameras. Depending on how much you spend, you can gain access to certain features like email or Dropbox notifications, people counting, heat mapping, or even automatic number plate recognition, although this last one will only work with compatible ANPR cameras. DVR DVR stands for Digital Video Recorder. It basically performs the same function as an MVR, which is to record footage from your cameras, but the difference is that a DVR only records footage from analog cameras and not network IP cameras like the MVR. But don't worry, because there are also a small range of what are called hybrid MVRs. These are recorders that have a mix of analog and network channels. This means that you can keep running a specified number of analog cameras whilst adding some new IP cameras to your system. Thank you for watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, please do by clicking here. Check the description below for links to our Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus feeds. Follow the link here for our web shop and if you want more videos like this click the playlist up here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.